That's funny. Welcome to Bothering the Band. My name is Ryan Bynack. With me, as always, is Abigail Ann Levy. Today, we got a wildly fucking coincidental timed episode. Uh, our guest is Juno DeGena, a young on the rise rapper from Florida who is tonight as of the release of this episode doing our live show as well. So no joke, he was re-recorded with him and then we invited him to do the live show. So this is the recorded one. And then we're recording the live show in Orlando, Florida at Will's pub tonight. Juno to Jenna, everyone. <laughs> Yo. Hello, hello. What's going on? Uh, not much. Not much. I took a nap a little earlier. You feel me? Just. <laughs> oh, Abby definitely feels you. She yeah. loves naps. That's my favorite pastime, man. Man, it, it, I like taking them. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's like, I'll be like, no, 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 I can't take a nap. But I was like, sure, I got some time to spare. Let me take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I can't take naps. I can't do it. I always, uh, well, one, my brain is tough for my brain to shut off. And then two, every, when I used to take naps, even as a kid, I hated the feeling of waking up. It's all, all panic for me. It's like, <laughs> like, what day is it? Where am I? You know, I, I've had some times like I took a nap. I didn't mean to fall asleep. And it's like one of the things like I'll wake up and be like, huh? Yeah. When? <laughs> <laughs> You know, welcome to Bothering the Band. I don't know if you did a little digging on what we do. We're going to ask you a bunch of stupid questions. For sure. I definitely checked out a little bit. I was like, <laughs> all right, random questions. Let's do it. <laughs> While they may seem random, random, some of them are very tailored to, to the individual. So you'll you'll start putting the pieces together. Um, and I just want you, because we did a little bit in the intro, if you can tell us how you came to the pod, how we like mutual friend. Yeah. So it was actually kind of crazy because how I met I met our mutual friend pretty much shouts out shout out shout out Shane yes shout shouts out Shane man like because he actually does um like when because I'm back home in Tampa right now so like mm -hmm. you know I'm able to like link up with like him down there down south I was living down in South Florida in Sunrise and it was actually I was getting um I do like monthly infusions. And he was the one that would actually administer it to me down there. And oh, yeah, wow. he was just like, oh, like, what do you do? Da, da, da. Like, oh, yeah, I do music. This and the third. I showed him some of my stuff and just like we were just talking. He was like, I think you should hit up some people I know. I was like, cool. He's like, oh, they run a podcast. He's like, would you ever be down to do that? I was like, of course. I was like, I love doing podcasts. <laughs> and it was just that's how it came about. And then, you know, he. He told you guys about me. We ended up linking up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, I play basketball with Shane. We play basketball every Sunday. Okay. And uh, yeah, he called me. I was like in the airport. I was in New York City in the airport. He called me. He was like, God, check this kid out. And that's why we're here. So again, shout out Shane. Thanks for doing this. He's starting his own podcast, like a medical podcast or something. I'll, I'm, I don't know the name. I'm sure he's told me, but sorry, Shane, <laughs> when you listen to this. Okay, so you're in Tampa. Mm -hmm. um, where are you originally from? I'm actually originally from Tampa. Oh, no <laughs> shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually originally from here. Um, Pretty much. I wasn't born here. I was born in Atlanta. Like, oh, okay. Atlanta area. It was uh, Austell. But I grew up out here in Florida my whole life. I mean, in Tampa, Florida. That's, I'm a Florida boy. <laughs> you grew up nice. in Orlando, so. Yeah. Oh, really? Just, uh, on the other end of I four. Oh yeah, yeah man. I, actually, um, I got the magic right here, man. I actually went to uh college out in Orlando for a little bit. It was in um where was it called? It was a uh, Valencia College. I was there for the for a few That's years. Ryan. I'm an alumni. I graduated, like have a diploma from from really. Valencia. Yeah, it's like <laughs> somewhere. I was I was like I was thinking about going, but I was like once I was like there for a while, and then you know life was life, and you know adults, yeah I get you. Yeah. It, How you know, old are you? I'm actually 24. Okay. I turned 25 in two months, October 20th. <laughs> Whoa, two days yeah. after Abby's birthday really? and hey. six days before mine. 
Really? Yeah. You, you were close to being a Libra. The best, the best sign, you know, with that. You are you into cool. are you into astrology and shit? You oh, don't yeah. look like yeah. Oh yeah, bro. I'm definitely into all that. Oh I'm wow, very, okay. Like, I'm very much like spiritual you know what i'm saying like i'm not one of the people that be like oh i have to follow this directly to the key yeah I need this and the third it's just more so like i'd find like insight on yeah like, you know because some stuff it's like you know some things it's like oh yeah but other things it's like no yeah like how do you know like <laughs> yeah it's it's definitely a world that you know it's it's an interesting world and it's a lot to learn behind it you know so since we talked about Florida real quick, finish this sentence. Florida is a gun shine state. <laughs> a, a gun, gun shine state. state. Gun that's shine a state. tongue twister. Yeah, like that's just one thing I've always like kind of know like knew Florida by was the gun shine state. Um I don't also- think I've ever heard that before. Abby, have you heard that? I mean, I feel like maybe, but I feel yeah. like it depends on where you're at in florida you know but yeah. also it's it's the sunshine state i guess i should have said like <laughs> no that was very clever i love it <laughs> all right what are you ordering from Publix in terms of public sub oh man i've been oh, i love it it's their their garlic herb and tofu sandwich and i've been doing it as a wrap and i like okay. put a bunch of different like dresses on like i'll put one that's like a little bit hot you know a little bit like with the little little hotness to it, a little spiciness and then also have it like with a sweet on it you know to kind of make it that that's su- like hot that sweet and spicy you know and i try to put what else i put in there uh lettuce tomato um cucumbers if they if they have it you don't you don't um, eat meat um i do but i don't eat red meat okay so it's like typically it's like if there is i'll do chicken but for the most part it's besides chicken and fish and seafood. Nah, no I, pork? Nah. It's no been, pork? How many? Oh, man. It's been two years. This year makes three. I believe if not, if it's not uh, about three, it is actually three years since I've... Uh, <laughs> We're going to have to re-record the intro. Because <laughs> I think I started with ate a big old pork butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um. Have you ever seen the film Juno? Actually, I haven't. I haven't. But I, it's like, I kind of got my name from it, in a sense. Like, I took the idea from Juno and to mm-hmm. create it into, like, my own, my nickname and everything. It, like, pretty much good. If I'm not mistaken, doesn't she give up her her child for adoption, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why because i'm a kid who's adopted you feel me oh wow was, yeah yeah i was adopted from birth and then you know i guess like a part of like my other side of my artist name the jenna that's like it's patois so how you make stuff yeah yeah and it just means the general and it's like i run because whatever i do i run that shit like <laughs> i run that shit and it's like pretty much to put it in a term term by term it's an adopted kid running things <laughs> I love it. I do too. That's very creative. I love the explanation. It's not what I expected. Good for you, man. <laughs> All right. What's one type of music, song, artist, anything that you love that would surprise most people? That I love. Oh, man. Like, for instance, I'm covered in tattoos and I got a beard, but I love Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. You know, uh- I shit like that. Oh man, I'm trying to think. Like that's kind of hard. <laughs> right? That's kinda hard. Um, I will say, even though I'm not a big fan of country music, you know, I don't really listen to country music. Um, that's not my genre. But is it's one song. It's two songs actually. It's like one person in general. His name's Aloe Black. I don't know if he's still yeah. makes music. Of course. I, I yeah, love yeah. Like, Aloe Black. Like, I like him and also it's like there's it's only one song because it has Lil Uzi Vert on it and it's like I can't even think of the name of the dude it's a song with uh the oh man I don't even know I don't even remember the name right now like oh, that's the producer's job to look it up 
it's a country song with Lil Uzi Vert. And it's who's, who's making your beats? Are you making your beats? Me? No. Yeah. No, I don't. I actually, it's like some people they'll send me beats and stuff, okay. and then other beats, it's like I just happen to stumble upon. Okay. And it's like I guess from every time I've looked at beats and everything, it just kind of like you know, YouTube will start getting an idea of stuff and be like, oh hey, check this out. And then some yeah. of them like I'll listen to, and typically within like the first, it could be 30 seconds, depending on the beat style. I can normally tell within 30 minutes that this this is going to be an amazing beat that I'm going to use right now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like a lot of them, it's like I'll look on YouTube and then if it's not that, a lot of people are sending me beats through through like through Gmail and stuff. And if I'm That's liking cool. it, I'll, I'll work with it. <laughs> did we find did we find the, the country little Uzi Vert song? Uh, we did. His name is Kid G. Yes. And the song is called Teenage Dream 2. Wait, Kid G is the country artist? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Country is just pop music now. Yeah, that's pretty much like. It's the same with like like certain rap, too. You know, like certain hip hop is just pop music. Because yeah. with the, especially with the, when autotune like came big, like 20, I mean, this is like 20 years ago now, but you were like four. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. it was like I remember seeing the like kind of the history of autotune and everything mm-hmm. like that. It was actually a documentary on Netflix. Documentary is really good, by the way. And it shows you the different aspects of music. And it was like it showed like the whole thing of autotune. And, you know, the person that really pioneered it, like really kind of made it go crazy was T Pain, you know? Yeah, yeah, I of feel course. Like, I feel like he gets a bad rap. Like he doesn't get the credit he deserves because no matter oh, if they say, great, man. it don't matter if they say he destroyed music. No. Or and he's like funny. He's like a good dude too. Exactly. He's a very, I, mean, very I don't know, person. but that's what you hear. I feel like, cause now it's like the reason why a lot of people say that too is cause to me, at least music nowadays is boring as hell. It's so boring. <laughs> It's so boring, and it's just like I'm happy. Thankfully, any, anybody that listens to my music, they're like, "Nah, you're you're gonna change the game, bro. Keep going." Like, <laughs> oh, and then in a couple of years when you blow up, everyone's gonna come back. We're gonna have like a big spike in your episode because <laughs> yeah. we're gonna Google you, and they're gonna find what the fuck is this? And it's I'm like... gonna be dead. It's gonna be a whole thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> let's get to let's get to it uh do you do you get popcorn at the movies when you go um kind of sometimes i will sometimes i won't it's just really dependent because now nowadays though the movies has gotten a lot cheaper that's one thing mm-hmm. I, I took a girl out but and... well, they're free they're free now you just walk right oh. in no one stops oh, you really? <laughs> i mean they're not free but yeah you can uh, <laughs> just yeah. walk right in give or take yeah yeah it's like and it's just like the amount of like money that it's like i could pay for that i could just go to dollar tree next door grab some food bring it in like <laughs> oh, i love that you said dollar tree i fucking love dollar tree i go there once a week he does oh, ryan has a very odd obsession with the dollar store oh i get my jalap- i get my pickled jalapenos there i get <laughs> envelopes books they got fucking awesome books for a dollar one thing i will say dollar tree and I'm I'm not gonna lie, Dollar I, Tree. I had got some cologne from there. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. No. Dollar Tree. <laughs> Absolutely not. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I ran out of my other one, and I was like, oh, fuck, I need, I need some cologne, something. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ready? It's CK one dollar. Get it? Because it's a dollar good. store. I that nailed that. Good. It was not good. <laughs> Welcome to bothering the band. <laughs> All right, listen. What kind, you you're putting on a hoodie? What kind of socks are you wearing right now? Are you wearing socks? Yeah, I'm actually. They're mixed. It's mixed socks. Right? Oh, that I'm not kidding you. Our next question has something to do with this. What kind of socks are you wearing? Um, it's actually the left sock is Puma. It's a low cut, and then the other sock is a high sock, and it's Nike. <laughs> <laughs> well, no joke. This is printed, so this is written a while ago. Uh. Are you, let's say you're wearing shorts with those socks. Can you wear Adidas shoes? 
Can you mix and match socks and the shoes? I feel like you can. I feel like you honestly can. Because oh, yeah. one, a lot of people don't know with Adidas. One, definitely two brands, they really want to get technical and all. And be like, oh, you can't switch the brands. It's like, well, technically with Adidas and Pumas, you can because they're brother companies. Because the, like the people who founded them. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually brothers and they first started a D- they first started like started adidas but it's like i've done nike and adidas before i don't really care if people okay. be like oh, you can't do that and it's like i kind of can i wear adidas joggers now like <laughs> no i i feel you i wear like when i was growing up that was a no-no like you just didn't do that mm. Also socks too. Like if you if you saw your socks, that was another thing. Like starting in like ninth grade, if you saw your socks, you were like a nerd, like a bat, like you know, it was like, oh, check out this dude. You see his socks? Because you had the, like the super low, you know, yeah. no show socks. Yeah, like when I was in high school, nah, yeah, people was wearing high socks with it was like Nike, like Nike high socks with forces. Um if you did that like a lot of people would do that i had my own style like i would wear high socks though with it was low cut chuck taylor's <laughs> oh nice i was a big fan of that's west like coast. that's like west coast shit yes were they dickies you rocking dickies with those nah nah <laughs> nah i just be like i remember one time i did it because it was uh whiz Khalifa song taylor game he mm-hmm. was like high socks low cuts yeah 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 he's talking about wearing the camo shorts and i was like i want it's like one of my fits i had camo shorts high socks <laughs> and i had like <clears throat> some like i had some t-shirt and tank top but it's like as like high school progressed now nah, my style got it's way different now my style's completely different but i'm really in chill mode right now <laughs> well perfect segue for chill mode uh joints or blunts joints joints blunts are out right Abby, a it's, blunt's like, out. it's like don't get wrong someone has a blunt and they like pass it to me i may or may not hit it just depending because a lot of times i feel like it's a lot of tobacco and yeah, it's hard it, like i ain't gonna lie like i spliff i spliff a lot of times but lately you know every now and then i've been doing been doing spliffs but a lot of times i'll just do joints but how i roll everybody say it they're like bro did you put like tobacco or anything in this bitch i'm like no they're like what the fuck i'm like yeah bro that's my joint (laughs) and it's like i like i don't mind grava and whatnot that's why i was like i'd rather if we're gonna use tobacco let me spliff let me make a spliff please and don't don't i hate it is when people they'll put a whole blunt right and then they wrap a paper around it. I'm like, nigga, did you, you just put a Band-Aid over your shit? Like, <laughs> yeah. So, again, I'm I'm 15 years older than you, but we we only smoked blunt. Like that, we never smoked joints when but I was. We had shit weed. Like we had the what they're smoking weed. is. I don't even <laughs> very, know. What very it is. true. Our very shit true. fell off a brick, and you had to pull the seeds and the stems oh, out I of it. Loved so it. It I had fucking, to go in a blunt. It, you had it's to the work only way for. to do it. Plus, yeah. like. 20 people threw in a dollar to get that dime bag. So now you have to <laughs> share it with everybody anyways. Oh, <laughs> so true. Hey. Oh man. You don't, you don't know, man. You don't know the fucking joy of like finally getting all the sticks and seeds out of your weed. I think I've had some weed that's it's either, it'll be like a little bit stemmy and it's like, fuck. All right. Boop, boop. Well, it, it's never really been both. If there was a seed, it may have been like one. Oh, no, this was like, just. No. This was and it was 100. brown. It was real brown always. It was, it was all body high. It was beautiful. I fucking loved it. I would I would buy that right now if someone came by. Oh, Shout out weed. to D. Shout out to my boy D in New York City. I don't know. <laughs> if, if, I hope he's still alive. Like, Jesus. I ain't gonna lie. Like one of my favorite weeds actually is um this is a favorite strain is um besides KK Khalifa Kush that's top top tier. That's that's a that's an amazing way. It's um Pineapple Express. Yeah, I've actually had that. And that that strain's phenomenal. <laughs> See the fact that you're talking strain. That was another thing when we were younger. Like 
uh, you had two, you had like what we call, especially Florida, you might, this might ring a bell. We had crippy, which was like chronic and, and like really good weed, which is what you're smoking, you know, strains of like regular weed now. And then you had regs and that was the seeds and sticks and fucking Reggie. (laughs) Yes. And like your mom would be like, let me have some, you're like, here, take these stems. I remember back in high school when it's like this is it's like so crazy how I really stumbled upon it because it's like I always like grew up like I loved Wiz Khalifa when he came out and I was listening to his music loved it fucking loved it and it was like I actually it was um I had transferred to another school for a little bit I went to their prom not the prom their homecoming and then for my old school's homecoming the one I graduated at they um I went I was funny to go to theirs but then my homeboy was like hey you trying to go to Wiz Khalifa concert I said Wiz, hell yeah what the fuck <laughs> hell yeah no. fuck homecoming really? let's slide like yeah when i told you when i tell you i was so hot you walk in i would looked up before i had the little general i was like i'm not gonna get the arena seats no get me into the pit get me in the in the crowd and i look up i'm looking above it's a nice cloud i was like oh <laughs> Oh, I'm fun to be high. <laughs> it was so many people smoking. His concert, that concert was fun. Like, it was, I remember it was one person, they were like, bruh, you trying to smoke? I was like, am I? Hell yeah. Retrospectively, people probably be like, oh, you should have been careful. I was like, nah. And I, it was a risk that I had to take. I was going to take it. And I did. And I was fine. <laughs> And it was just like, it was crazy. <laughs> we're going to get, we're going to get you, or you should try to as well. We're going to work together and get you on a Wiz Khalifa track. Oh, hell yeah. That would be, that would be fire. Well, let's just start tweet, but we'll both tweet at him like crazy. Like, right? just like, <laughs> get this dude on a track. And then you just message him. That's how we get most of our guests, man. We just say, hey, we like your shit. Come on our pod. So, do the same thing that that it's that. so many artists it's so many artists that like i do want to work with that are up there one that. i asked i met before and i actually i had asked them and was like hey how much is your feature price and they were like well i'm not doing features right now one i was like i know you probably capping but okay but i looked at their price i was like oh yeah nah yeah you finna have to wait no it's <laughs> you finna have to wait just just wait <laughs> see you later <laughs> i was like i was like i'm not gonna not want to do that to pay for it but i was like nah my my situation nope i'm not risking that <laughs> next time uh-huh. you're down next time you're down here in south florida you should look up uh there's a rapper that i know um i know his brother and he, he's doing his thing in in uh like mainly West Palm Fort Lauderdale. His name is Name Brand Only. His name is Brandon. So his like hip hop name is Name Brand Only. Name Brand Only. Is that his Instagram or stuff? So? Yeah. So follow him. I'll, I'll I'll get him to listen to this and uh, hit you up. I feel like you guys will have, I don't know, shit in common. Maybe something will spark. If not, no worries. Oh, yeah. And it's always good to like try to work with, you know what I'm saying, different people. And it's like, that's one thing with me. I know my style is very different for people. Mm-hmm. It's very different. It is. <laughs> and so it's name brand underscore only. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now. for sure. I see. I see. I got them right here. Oh, there you go. All right. Do you believe in luck? Yeah. Okay. I do. I feel like there is luck. It's like, yo, like there is a lot of good luck, good fortune, but I feel like it's also speaking things into existence, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like power of positive thinking type of shit. And it's just really the power of words. Manifestation. Yeah. Because people don't understand. It's like, even if like you're going through a lot of stuff, it's like still try to be positive in it. You know, it's because I know it's a lot. I know that sounds really weird. It's like, it it can (laughs) You know? It can be hard, but a lot of times it's just you got to speak what you want into existence. It will happen, but it may or may not be easy. Like, 
All right, I got, I'm just this is just a joke, so just bear with me. You're like a you're like a white girl with your with your astrology and your manifestation. Next thing you're gonna say like, take me to brunch or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see this <laughs> conversation with all our dumb questions. We, we're gonna get more dumb. We're gonna get dumber. And like this going to astrology and like manifesting luck. I love it though. Yeah, it's and that's the thing. A lot of people, it's like they see me on the outside. It's like they'll be like, "What kind of vibe is he?" And they're like, "It's like they always think of one thing, and then they really start talking to me and speaking." And they're like, "Whoa, <laughs> I didn't expect half of those things." What you what you said? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is a thought? <laughs> Are we talking I- about? Are we talking about T H O T or a thought like something? no T H O T? And this is true. I don't know what it is. Oh, well, I mean, if you're getting technical, technical, it's an acronym for that hole over there. <laughs> Abby, you knew this? Mm-hmm. That yeah. hole over there? It's like a butthole? No, nah, like that hole. That hole. Oh, that there. hole. That hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a so lot of. It's so a lot of, and also depending on where you are. Okay, from, that makes that makes so much more sense than where I was going. <laughs> See, like, depending on where you are in, like, where you're from in Florida too, you have a different way of saying that as well. Like, like Tampa, we say we say Jenga. Like, that's one thing that's some Tampa slang calling. Okay. Jenga, that's like calling them a thought. Like. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh man. Down south, shown. No, and I'll never forget it. This is one song. I can't wife no shown. <laughs> oh, can't wife no shown. It not at all. <laughs> that yeah, hoe over yeah. there. Oh, this is fun. We're having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Have you seen the film Encanto? Encanto? Yeah. Uh, I can't say I have. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Honestly. Not nah, is it is it the Disney movie? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and and yeah, and Kanto. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, well, you should because there's a song. That it, I don't like. It's tough writing these questions. So there's a song called "We Don't Talk About Bruno," and I think you should sample it. We don't talk about you. No, no, no. <laughs> you gotta see the film. It's a kids' yeah. film. I just sang it. It's a it's a mass in my in my world. It's a massive song, but right. I'm a dad. I'm, you know, like oh, really. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. So yeah, I, I ain't got no kids. It's like I love kids. Good. Kids. Wait for for a <laughs> no, long, long time. F, Don't fuck with no thoughts. Don't knock up no thoughts. Exactly. And, and Do not. But that too. As much Wear as I love rubber. Kids, as much as I love kids, FTK. Oh <laughs> yeah, fuck them kids. I know that shit. <laughs> They're tough, <laughs> man. They're real tough. Wait. The last time I watched, you're 24. Fuck. Or, no, yeah, it's a, it's so many people I know that have kids that have jits. It's like, <laughs> ooh, I like jits. I haven't heard jits in forever. Yeah, I be saying jit a lot, and it's like, it, it it's some people I know they be having two, three, and I be like, oh, I have zero. St- I have a dog. <laughs> I have a dog. That's it. Uh, what they, kind of dog do you have? I have a multi pool. Oh, you're a white girl. <laughs> you're a little white girl. Welcome to Bothering the Band. We're here with just a random white girl from Tampa. <laughs> she loves brunch. Uh, oh, what's the multi poo's name? Uh, her name is Winter, but I spell it with a Y. Okay, it's like a yeah. German. A little, a little, That's a little cool. Because her original name was luna winter and i heard that and in my ears i was like that's ugly <laughs> i was just like that's no the way you have this arranged that's ugly you should have went with winter luna and that's what i flipped it to i was like no we're gonna say winter luna because that sounds sounds catchy that's your first your middle and then you got my last name i'm your daddy <laughs> oh. i love it all right did you have a favorite stuffed animal growing up? Uh, did I? I don't think I necessarily had a favorite. Like, I know when I was really, really, really young, mm-hmm. it was, I had to be in, like, kindergarten, I want to say. 
and I actually had a Care Bear like stuffed animal thing. And I remember we had me and my family, we had adopted this other this other girl. She's older than me. And I was like, you know what? Let me be nice, like a nice, nice little brother. And I gave it to her. And I was that was my favorite one, though. I had a, if I if I had to think of anyone who was my favorite, it was one that had like a lightning bolt on it. And it was like a nice blue color. And I was like, you are you're amazing. <laughs> Abby, look it up. Let's buy it for him. No, that is like if it's anything now, I'd be getting these uh spray ground backpacks that are that okay. are better. They're yeah, better. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I got the recent one it was uh it's a Rick and Morty co- like thing that they did. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Morty and the bear looks like Rick. <laughs> I have shoot, I don't even have those. I want to say what's the painting have... behind you? Oh yeah, it's um. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's cool. It's like a swamp or something. Yeah, it's like a little lake and stuff. It's like the lake and then. Did you paint that? No, nah, it was actually my um, my aunt. I don't know if they're still dating, but it was her boyfriend. Okay. It was her boyfriend. He's from England. Dude's pretty cool. I just I don't remember too much of it. I just remember like he did a lot of paintings. Had a really like English manner to himself, which was I find kind of funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> well you just answered our next question and this is no joke again you're like jumping ahead is uh what do you call your like your mom's sister uh, or your dad's sister you said it, aunt i was sometimes a lot of times i'll say aunt sometimes i say auntie it auntie, depends on yeah, who. Yeah. a lot of times if i'm using auntie it's like it's someone to who is like a aunt to me mm-hmm. or like you know what i'm saying a lot of times yeah. i'll say hey aunt such and such you know yeah (laughs) okay you got a you got a song called time flies correct yes okay so when you're smoking weed does time slow down for you or speed up um it doesn't necessarily speed up i feel like sometimes time does slow down a tad bit which definitely helps it slows down for me so much where I'm like, oh my God, it's been two hours. And so on. I will Probably, say, Abby's like, it's been four minutes. What slows your time down a lot and it's a little bit shrooms, shrooms, <laughs> like psychedelics. <laughs> oh, devils. I can't fuck with that, man. I'm already a psycho. I can't fuck nah, with it's, that. And the craziest thing, it's like, People have a misnarrative of like shrooms and LSD and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got oh, some yeah, yeah, of course. That have had like bad craziness happen, but the way it's like everything does, it changes, it changes your perspective on everything. Like it oh, literally rewires your brain. And a thing to like also kind of get an insight to is uh is how to change your mind. And that's on Netflix. <laughs> I was just about to say, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. I was also going to say, you should check out, I don't know if you ever heard of him or read him, is Timothy Leary. Has a bunch, like a ton of crazy wild books that he no, wrote. Yeah. All and it's up. like, it's just crazy how it's like, this was like actually like a miracle drug, you know? And mm-hmm. I'm like, it helps with a lot of stuff. It helps with more than just, and just like other people, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with like depression, anxiety, things like that it helps with a lot, lot of like actual actual ailments you know a lot of lot of disabilities and it's like i can it helps because i i can also speak from from firsthand experience with it you know because i actually have um i do have a disability <laughs> mm-hmm. and with it it's um how many years it's been uh since 2020 and i'll never forget it, it was the day i officially like got the diagnosis was november 3rd <laughs> so and what it, is it i don't i don't know the, um so what, with what do you it, got? That's, that's also the reason why like that's how i met shane because that's mm-hmm. i do my that's how i received my treatment is through through infusions mm-hmm. and um but it's a uh, multiple sclerosis aka uh, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people it's so funny when i ask people be like oh do you know what like multiple sclerosis is and they'll be like yeah like it has to do with your like your is your like oh is your back okay like no 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 no, 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 no. that's scoliosis They're like <laughs> oh I'm like no nah, you're good <laughs> you're good my, you're good my roommate has MS as well really um and she also microdoses 
Yeah. Um, and it really weirdly helps a lot. And it, it that's the thing. It's like, like the amount of like, I remember I did a full spectrum trip. I had, if it wasn't exactly an eighth, if it wasn't 3.5 grams, it was about 3.5 grams. And when I tell you that next day and like after everything, I was like, bro, I feel fucking amazing when i was taken i was like bro i feel normal again this is this is nice like <laughs> oh yeah. man you, shout out to lauren but also oh i feel like lauren would love you you oh, make wow. little multiple sclerosis babies <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be amazingly lit but at the same time i'd be nervous because i'm like fuck if i have it and this other person got it my child's gonna be born with it hell no nah. Uh, or they're no. gonna be strong as fuck. <laughs> they're gonna be the Hulk. Shane oh. right now is listening to this, just shaking his head. Man. <laughs> okay. Bear with this one too. An alien race is threatening to destroy the planet, and you're chosen as the ambassador to talk them out of destroying humanity. What things do you show them or tell them? to prove that the human race is worth saving first thing and foremost have y'all tried weed <laughs> have y'all tried this do y'all have answer. marijuana what is your form of this i want to know let i just i understand why you want to take us over i understand earth is ghetto i would race <laughs> cars don't it's something that you really don't want it is not a good race to do anyhow but first and foremost, y'all got weed on y'all's planet? Like, what What y'all got? What y'all What y'all be? What, what gets y'all high? Oh, you don't know what that is? Come on, let me show you real quick. Let me show, let me show you this, this strain I got. This guy, this is called Candyland. This shit is wonderful. You read? I'm going to roll it up for you. Look, you know, you got this paper. You feel me? Really nice little, you know, got a little filter tip too. Let me just fold that up, roll it up. You know, put that right there. You know, got the paper. You know, let me, oh, this? You know, it's a grinding. <laughs> oh, you're grinding. showing them step by step. I love mm -hmm. it. You know, once we know we smoke it, we chit chat. I'm like, why do you want to take us over? What What did we do to you? Like, can you just ask that? Can I just ask that? And then we just start chit chatting. And then I'm going to de-escalate them. <laughs> and then play some music. Play some of your music. Oh, yeah. And be like, look, there's still a lot of goodness in this world. There's a lot of good people. If you trying to take the, if you trying to take out the bad people, we could talk. There's some people that, you know, I could let you know who, who is where, you know, we could work something out, you know? Oh, y'all got something similar to weed. Can I try it? Well, well, <laughs> when we done, let me try it. Like, I love how excited you got at this super dumb question. <laughs> I love it. Um, tell everyone your, like your Instagram and where to follow you. Tell everyone where to yeah. follow you. My Instagram, my Twitter. I need to use my Twitter more. I ain't gonna lie. But like pretty much on all platforms, Instagram, all that is Juno de Jenna. And how you spell that is J-U-N-O-D-I-G-E-N-N-A. I love it. Do you follow Bothering the Band? You do, right? I believe so. I nice. believe everyone follow Bothering the Band and Juno de Jenna. And our last question is a fun one. If you could interview anyone, live or dead, and ask them stupid fucking questions like we asked you, who would you interview and what would you ask them? Oh, shit. Shit, it's a few. It's a few people. It's, it's tough, a right? few. Yeah, like, oh, fuck. I'd say either Lil Uzi Vert or Tyler, the creator. And what would you ask them? Oh, I would ask him probably some of the dumbest shit because Tyler, the creator, to ask him shit, I, I know he gonna come with some wild shit. He gonna come with some wild shit. But like, same with Uzi. Like, Uzi was different. You feel me? Like, he weird like me. Like, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, oh man, it'd be, it'd be random questions, honestly. But like, if the sky was purple, like, what would you be doing right now? <laughs> Freaking the fuck out, man. <laughs> I love oh. it. I love it. 
you would be perfect for when we blow up and we start we do like a hip-hop version you can take over you can be the host all right for sure for sure i know one podcast i did the dude he was saying to me afterwards he's like no yeah like you should definitely start up like a podcast or something you are really good at just doing these and i'm like i just like talking like <laughs> <laughs> you'd be surprised people like especially you know we we've hit a couple speed bumps i'm gonna leave it at that oh, what's man. next what's next for you as an artist as a human um what you're working on what do you want well, the people to know music wise um i definitely have some stuff in the works it's definitely a few different singles um, some music videos that are getting in place um it's definitely been a lot to get these done you know it's just been you know life be life and and yeah. it was definitely who shoot the universe everything was like you want your goals we fun to get you there but it's fun to be a journey for you like <laughs> But not nah, definitely like um as far as it is like music wise definitely have some singles lined up you know definitely have some singles I'm working on um definitely some music videos because that's one thing I know I'm slacking in is some content you know I'm also creating something it's just like kind of like step by step term by term day by day type thing almost like every few days and it's until I can really start doing it every day and like really having it consistent. But I'm going to make me a documentary because I'm like, the amount of things I don't been through. <laughs> sure, man. Do yeah. it up. We'll support yeah. it and we'll promo it. Same with the same with your singles. Whenever you drop anything, let us know. We'll, if we don't see it, let us know. We'll gladly support and share. I know one song that's in the works. I have, I posted a little snippet on my Instagram and that is a pretty fire thing. It's an AMV that I created. <laughs> So yeah, that that single is definitely in the works and everything is getting getting finished and getting done for it. You know, but besides that, also the 17th, I have a showcase I'm gonna be performing at. So where I'm, at? Um, actually down south in Miami. Um, oh, cool, cool. I don't know where exactly they'll okay. I forget the address and stuff, but I know it's like a lot of like a lot of talent's going to be there, you know, a lot of like big name people, you know, really like getting one on one with these people, you know, and really being able to get something solidified to take yeah. it a little further, you know. And yeah, besides that, just being on the regular side, I got another job, I have two, I have two right now, or this one is the second one, but it's going to be the main one because it's working at a casino. Oh, dope. Yeah, and all I do is make sure no one cheats. Like, <laughs> oh, that's cool. So you like walk around and shit. Yeah. How tall? How tall are you? I'm six foot two. Okay, so you're tall. Yeah, and it, out of my pictures, I don't probably look six two. A lot of people say I don't. They're like, you don't look six two. I'm like, no, but like, I am. That's big. <laughs> good for you for being six two. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so oh well, we're gonna wrap up here, but don't go anywhere. I have to ask you some off the record questions. But um, Juno, thank you so much for doing this, man. We're uh, I'm so happy Shane linked this up, and you're right. Whatever that other podcast was, you have a great vibe. We dig your music, and again, you're stuck with us. We'll promo your shit, and that's that's our fucking show. Everyone, give it up for Juno DeJenna. And follow him on all the socials and support his music. Go to Spotify, listen to his tunes, his new music coming. That's our fucking show. Follow Bother in the Band, too. Yeah. Abby, anything? Cut. I don't want to be on the ground when time flies Only time I'm on the ground is when I'm on the flights I really love taking all these drugs They were there when no one else really was Living off the Adderall, lifted off these pills Popping all these pills, I can't believe I'm doing this Think that I'd be living like a fucking rock star Tampa trap star turned to a new age rock star I don't want to be on the ground when time flies Only time I'm on the ground is when I'm Drugs that chose
knows me Smoking liquid out of bones, that's what I like I'ma just have to go and push you fucking on Man, you know that I'm turned up in the party Everybody know, man, I'm off the fucking molly I won't be on the ground when time flies Only time I'm on the ground is when I'm on the flights My recipe flow Chefing with the curry I be serving that go Drinking while I'm driving Bitch, it wasn't my fault If it wasn't for the argument I wouldn't get caught Whoa I guess she figured it a man I'm just reminiscing Had to get inside my bag Drinking got me tripping Why the hell I gotta laugh If it wasn't for the drugs I think I might have relapsed Whoa I won't be on the ground When time flies Only time I'm on the ground Is when I'm on the flights I really love taking all these Oh, they were there when no one else really was